Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And uh, another one on this. As you can see, front end's all together and stuff, so now it's time to start getting this lot painted, prepped, the rest of it, and getting it looking back to its former glory. And on its former glory, after the very first video, I got contacted by the um, previous owner of this vehicle. And I've seen some pictures and stuff of what it looked like, and it is a very, very nice van. And the previous owner is a very nice person. Um, I got told a little bit of background about the brick and also a bit of background about how the accident happened. Um, I'm not going to go into details with it because I'm not like that and I don't want to share other people's private information and stuff. But uh, after a phone call with the um, previous owner, transpires that this vehicle and another vehicle were both taken out at the same time while it was on their drives. Uh, a little polo veered across the road, took out the front of this one and a transit custom at the same time while it was on their drive. So um, yeah, that made a, obviously made a bit of a mess and uh, transpires, it ended up going to, to Copart where I ended up um, purchasing it. So uh, yeah, there's that one. And uh, as for a brick, the uh, previous owner, sorry, I can't breathe today, I'm really struggling. Whew, the previous owner um, basically was, it was in a rock group, uh, I think is what he said, uh, and he used to use the brick to wedge up his amp or speaker, and that's as easy as that one is. So all the people that said it was for a handbrake or rest of it, unfortunately, you guys were wrong. And um, no one would have guessed that, because I would never have guessed that was the, the reason behind that. So um, yeah, there'd be, there's your little bit of your, your story of how this van happened to be in my possession and how it happened to go through Copart. So, since uh, the last episode, I've put a few miles on it, made sure everything's okay, the rest of it. Needs a brakes doing and a few other little bits, but I spared you lot the details of rolling up the step inside there. As you can see, it's all back together and stuff. Also spared you the time of me stripping out the dashboard and putting the heater matrix in it. That's all done now. Also, while I was doing one water pipe under the bonnet, I don't know if I've still got the water pipe around. Uh, when I put it back together, I found another water pipe, which was a bit poo as well. I don't think I've even got it around anymore. Uh, no. If I come across it, I'll show you. Basically, it was, it was pretty much identical to what the other one was like. It's all brittle and everything inside. So I changed that one as well because that one was horrible and nasty. And uh, there's not a chance it was ever going to flame a whole water like that. But since I've done that, uh, as I said, Filled it all up and everything, heat and matrix in. Uh, all runs perfectly sweet as nut, no pressurising or anything like that. So we're, we're all good there. No leaks anymore. So that's perfect. I can drive it down the road, all good as gold. Uh, that's done. I also welded up the two little bits in the, in the back of the van. So they're all done. I didn't want to bore you with all the welding because one, I can't get a camera underneath because I don't have a wrap. So I struggle to get a camera underneath the vehicle. And you wouldn't see an awful lot anyway. And all it is is me cutting and welding bits of metal and stuff. So I've cut all the, the crap out and welded in new metal back in place of it. Seam sealed up, under sealed, and now she's um, solid as a rock. And I was correct. There was hardly anything in it whatsoever. Very, very good T4, this one. Very, very good T4. Uh, as all dashes back in and everything else like that. So now you're up to speed with that. I suppose it's now time to uh, get cracking with uh, getting the front end painted. What I'm going to do before I take this little part, as I said, I'm taking it apart to paint it because it's just easier and I don't have to worry about mashing the whole van up because that's a pain in the jacksie. But what I'm going to do, take panels off. But before I take the panels off, I'm going to do the prep work on the panels because I want to get them so they're 100% correct, right, and the rest of it. And they're easier because they're in shape now of what they are. So when I pop them off, I haven't got to worry about them being flexed in different angles and stuff. And I just, it's just the way I like doing it. So I'm going to flatten them all back and stuff and get them ready for paint. So we basically got a bumper, grill, wing, and we've got a bit on the edge of there which I haven't decided where I'm actually going to paint that or touch that bit in. It's one of those ones I can touch it back in because the paint I'm using is uh, 2K direct gloss. So I can quite easily build it up with a brush and then just flat it back very slightly and polish it out. And you would never even know I've been there. What I'm doing at the moment first is it's in two colours, the vehicle, which I'm not completely a fan of, I'd rather it will be black. And to be completely honest with you, if I am keeping this one, it would end up all going back black 
because I think it just looks so much better than the Nardi grey at the bottom. But for now, I'm going to paint the wing, the grill and the bumper back black because I need the black on there and if I'm going to put the grey over the top, I'll put the grey over the top afterwards because it's just the way it's been done already and that's the way I'll do it again. But for now, that's what I'm going to do is get it all prepped, painted and um, see if we can get these panels looking good in this episode. So, uh, sorry about a bit of a long waffle, but we're going to get into some of the, some of the action now. And um, yeah, let's get going. Start it up. So, first things first, start taking bits and bobs off. So I don't need to mask up so the indicators came out. And it's just a case of then, I like to use some gaffer tape to protect the edges because that's a little bit thicker than what masking tape is. And it does do an awful lot more to protect it. I'm going to start with, as you can see, 320 grit and um, start da it down with that. Uh, normally 320 grit when you're going over with 2K is normally quite good because 2K is a quite thick paint and it does hide a lot of what it is underneath. Uh, and it works. It's, if you're doing metallics and things like that, you need to go a little bit more heavy up to like 500 is what I normally go up to. But for this, 320 is um, pretty good. As you can see, I'm using the DA to block it all over. Well, I say block it all over, I'm doing a DA block, which is what a lot of people refer to it as. It works, as long as you know how to use a DA, it does work. It's not 100% the correct way to do it, but as I said, it works. So if it works, why do something different than what you need to do to it? So, uh, yeah, I'll leave you with a bit of footage and um, yeah, I'll speak to you soon. Yeah, so we're glad to get in there. It's got a couple of tiny little bits of filler in it because I wasn't too quite happy. So it's only plastic filler. It's waiting for them to go off. I can flap them out and uh, they're right. I just wanted to get it exactly perfect because with it being black and upgrading this one from horrible like plastic, like commercial look to painted bumper, I want it right. But as I was going through the grill, as you can see, I took the other bit off, I should say, found we got a big dent. But I used the old paint as a guide because I've rubbed it all off because it was absolutely atrocious. Don't know what someone was up to when they painted this. They must have been rattle cans again. And if, yeah, I'm the one that's going and found more panels. Ever seems to be every project I do at the moment, I find panels which are knackered and I've got fixed as I go, but life is life. But this one, as you can see, hammer and dolly. Let's about that, I'll dolly that back out and before I put a tiny, tiny little skimmer filler over it, just to make it absolutely bang on perfect. So uh, yeah, let me get that done. Back out. Now just uh, clean up all the time, a bit of filler over it, job done. So, once again, as I said in previous episodes, when you're mixing your filler up, try to do it as gently as possible and don't swirl it round. If you swirl it round, you get air bubbles in it, and then it makes it a right absolute pain in the ass to try and get rid of all your, your little, little divots and stuff that you end up because, yeah, just ends up when you rub it down still being there and it's just a case of now just laying it on the best you possibly can the smooth as you can the smoother you can get it now the easier it is to rub off so i just went and got rid of all the little bits that needed it as well the edges i did as well because when i took it off i bent it a little bit like to do but we're getting there and uh, yeah it's a lot better in the end two thousand years later Right, so that's all the panels now off the vehicle, and now we're in the booth. They've uh, got some bits that, like in there, and a bit in here where we've got bare metal, etc. Like that. I need to go over them with some primer, high build, etc. So, uh, what I'll do, we'll tack cloth everything off first, hence the uh, tack cloth in my hands, move all the contaminants, uh, go through wax and get grease there. Can't even speak again. Wax and degrease the whole thing down again. Like de-wax, degrease is what I should say. 
Uh, once you've done that, uh, it's a case of then we shoot on some edge primer and a little bits where we've got bare metal because that needs a chemical to actually attach to. Uh, and then I'll shoot some high build primer on it. I'll leave it overnight and come back and um, yeah, tomorrow I'll flat it and paint it. So I'm going to do some of the bits I need to get done now. Then uh, I'll join me as I'm shooting on some, some high build, I reckon, because you've seen the other bits quite a few times. So let me get these bits done. So I'll start like this, uh, let me get these done, and then um, yeah, we'll go from there, shall we? So now we've got all the cleaning and everything out of the way, it's time to start laying some primer down. Uh, it's just a case of build it up gently. The primer is mixed up a uh, uh, ratio of 4 to 1, so it's 4 part of paint to 1 part hard enough. It's uh, that's how, you, how thick you lay it down just to get it so it's um, blockable material. It's basically like having a very very thin cut of filler on it, so when you block it out, you basically you can block through it. And as it's going black, and I mean, as I said in the previously, it's going to 2k, so um, I'm not too bothered by it if I do block through, as long as I don't get back to any bare metal. And um, as I said, I let it down to match prime on some of the bits in the first place, and um, yeah, it went from there. And it's it's just a case of getting it as smooth as you possibly can, because the easier and smoother you get it, the easier it is to block it out. So um, yeah, let me get this lot done, and I suppose I'll be back. So it's a couple of days later now, I've spared you guys all the hours and hours and hours of blocking to get these 100% perfect. As we all know, it takes a long, long time. Well, some people know that do paintwork and stuff. It takes a long, long time to get the panels right to be able to um, chuck some paint onto these ones. But at long last, they're all actually blocked out. They're all actually looking quite nice and stuff. I had a few issues in a couple of little places, but we soon got there. And uh, yeah, so... Now it's a case of mixing up some black paint, which for this one, the, oh, I've got a funny cobweb in my face, sorry guys. For this one, uh, the paint code is a VW colour, which is LO41, I think it is. Yeah, it is LO41, which is jet black, which uh, is just basically a straight black 2K metallic, which is just basically a straight black 2K. So it's laid a paint down, no lacquer whatsoever. Uh, you can block it out and then polish it up. It's totally up to you. Depends how your gun finishes as it comes out. So uh, let's uh, mix some of that paint up, which you mix up two to one. Uh, and then, well, two to one with activator. Depends what your environment is, whether you want to use fast or slow activator or medium reducer, as they call it over in America. Uh, I use fast because the temperature at the moment is still not exactly perfect. Even in here, it's warm. But because the items I'm doing are small, I'm going to use a fast activator or accelerator. And um, yeah, let's get some black paint on these. So I'll get it all tacked off. Uh, sorry, first we'll uh, degrease it, then we'll tack it off, and then we'll shoot some colour. So um, yeah, let me get set up.
stops Making my dizzy When you tell me what you want I just wanted you to see me Never thought you'd know this Thought that you should know I'm already told Never let you go You had me at a low I lift my mask up. That's uh, the first coat all uh, tacked off. So uh, let's shoot the second coat and um, third coat, and uh, I'll show you what it's like when it's done. I will stick on a bit of time lapse now so you can follow through. But yeah, we'll just see what it's like when it's done, shall we? Next day and all that. Uh, come in this morning and uh, panel's absolutely turned out perfect. Hardly any orange peel or anything in it. And to be honest with you, I've hardly got any bits of crap in it whatsoever. I've got a couple little tiny bits of denib. But other than that, they've turned out pretty well. So um, now it would normally be the bit where I go, let's go put them on and finish that off. But overnight I had a, had a bit more of a thought about the van and um, how I want it to, to finish off either for myself or for a new owner or anything else. So um, I'm going to uh, start cracking on with that, I suppose. But for you guys, that's going to be in the next episode. And um, until that one, guys, hit the like, subscribe, and share button. I hope you all stay safe. And um, don't, forget, don't forget to come on back and um, see what it is I'm actually up to with it. So peace out, guys.